I added more phosphate than I ever have before. It's about eight milliliters, which is double what I've added at most. And you can see I finally got a haze on the glass. That's what it took. Other observations, I notice this guy is a little less than happy the past day. The guy in the back is closed, but they could be closing up to shed. And this one is not all that happy either. We got a couple of closed heads back here, but not entirely sure why. Hammer is bigger than it ever has been, <laughs> so that's good. These still large. They're they're actually rather big. Um, we got this guy back here looking nice and puffy. Uh, this little micro hammer right here is is looking good. Remember yesterday it was completely closed up. Uh, this chalice behind here is actually growing noticeably. This one's doing fine. I fed these heads uh, for the first time yesterday and they are looking quite happy. Utter Chaos look happy. Make Hands looking good as usual because they always look good. And then one thing that's really exciting is this we've been looking at this guy a long time look at that he's opened up he's actually got some uh some tentacle to him as you can see so that is fully coming back and all of my zoanthids look a lot better since the addition of that large amount of phosphate and look at this thing it's as open as it can be right now. It's like a little umbrella. This copepod is just hiding under it. <laughs> yeah, all the zoanthids are looking pretty good, except for uh, these right here. They're still not happy. I still wonder if they're going to make it, but the superstar was nice and open earlier, except it got walked on. And then just these zoanthids back here are looking looking good. I had another branch die back here get eaten. You can see how much growth is happening here. I added a lot of iron today as well. So iron's up, phosphate's up. So we should get a lot of growth and then I'll measure phosphate in the morning and see what we've consumed. But we got a prolifera going clear over here, which is, man, that's strange. I don't have any idea why shouldn't be doing that at all but a bunch of them are and then these here just grew really tall <laughs> uh so i don't know what this algae is doing it's just doing whatever it wants i guess but there's a full view of the tank i know normally people will clean the glass to show everybody but I really want to show the dirty glass because it's important. If you're growing algae on your glass, then you're probably going to grow corals okay. If you're not growing algae on your glass, you're not going to grow coral. And it seems to be as simple as that. However, for uh, Acropora, it might be a different story. They seem to do fine with lower nutrient tanks. A um, lot cleaner water. But most LPS don't, uh, well, I should say large polyp, stony corals and soft corals want a higher nutrient situation. That's the update here. A lot of things are looking better and some things are, are not. Still, I'm still dialing in the, the true formula to, to really grow macroalgae heavily. I still, uh, without fish, I should say. I still am not sure. But really, the fish are just going to be supplying phosphate as far as the macroalgae are concerned. So it might have to do with some other macro or micronutrients. And I will be starting to clean uh, this tank soon. It's grown pretty well, uh, but now things have started going clear. So it's time to clean up and then start adding some nutrient into the tank and see if I can uh, 
figure out a way to get everything to grow well. Oh, I got something out over here. Oh, it's a clam. Okay. I was hoping the crab in here was still alive, but I don't think so. The clam might not even be alive either. <sighs> not too successful of a tank anyway. That's that. Well, this is it after the clean, directly after. I still have to add some more water, and I gotta get this water filtered out. But it's an improvement.